Welcome back my friends to another episode of Stainless Steel and this is a bit of a different setup to where we left off in the last episode because I made an error and I didn't save the game. So I lost everything that I'd done up until the point where we got attacked by Genoa over here. Instead they're attacking us over here at Bordeaux. I had to refight the Battle of Cairo and I won it so that's fine. I've tried to sort of catch up to where we were before. I've done a bit of movement. I think I've done a few things a little bit differently. I've got a load of buildings being constructed throughout uh, the British Isles, which I don't think I had going on in the last episode either. Uh, this army here is ready to move uh, when necessary. And King Walloran yes. is heading northwards towards Paris. And Money. Sophia the Affectionate is heading up towards the Port of Con. Uh, I'm going to put her over and into the British Isles again and we're going to see if we can find a general or family member to marry her to. Um, but yes, the main difference in this part is that Bordeaux is currently under siege. I managed to record a few heavy troops here, a couple of heavy spearmen, a heavy footman unit and a longbow archer. Um, but I didn't manage to get any of my light units out or anything like that. So we're currently under siege here. And that's pretty much the main thing. I've got a couple of ports being blockaded over here, which is by me against the uh, Egyptians. So that's fine. Everything else is going fine. We've got the uh, banister towers being constructed. Two turns left for those. And I think that's more or less where we're up to. Um, so yeah, we'll just end the turn. We'll see where we go from here. So I do apologise that we don't get to fight that battle. Um, I was going to lose that one anyway. I was going to fight it. I wanted to see if I could maybe take out the general or something with my archers. My archers aren't the strongest, but I maybe could have done something. But uh won't get that chance now. Ah, Norway was besieging this place. I forgot about that. And now we get to fight for it. A lot of heavy troops though. A lot of heavy troops. I do have my four units of longbow, so I should be able to do quite a bit of damage before they get in. But it's still a lot of heavy troops. So let's see There'll be no escaping us now. how this goes. Attack! Okay, <clears throat> let's take everything off the wall for the moment so I can set everything up the way I need it to. You can put, you can put stakes? Oh, how useless. Okay, so what do we got on the right, on, on our left? Footman, heavy footman. Axes, axes, footman. And swordsman. Okay. <clears throat> so. Let's have arch unit here. Arch unit there. There. And there. Okay. Right, so... Swordsman, my light swordsman, where am I going to put you? I guess I put a group here. And... Two here. Bear in mind these are light swordsmen. I'm hoping I can do more damage to the enemy troops before they get onto the wall, but it's obviously not guaranteed. We'll put a spear unit there. We'll put a spear unit here. And then all my other spears that I have left are going to be defending the gateway at the front. And then my cav. Is there a gate nearby? There's one of it. <coughs> Excuse me, one over on that side, and one over this side. 
Um, take the one on the right. All the cav outside over here. Catapults. One of you on each side, please. My catapults do this to your troops. <laughs> Just cause them to come out of formation. Okay. So. Uh, oh. Yeah. Archer there. Wait, no. That archer has got a better angle there. You guys go for the ladder units. This unit. Go for those ladders. These guys go for that tower. Catapults can't really shoot at anything. And then cavalry. Get outside. Move. Got a lot of running down to do for you guys. Unfortunately, these are just regular towers, they're not baluster ones. <clears throat> right. Let's move cavalry quick. Okay. Uh, archers. I guess. You guys can still shoot that tower unit. The enemy them. At the walls. Repel the them. Attackers. Give them steel. Alright, my cavalry. Let's form up along here. Let's do whatever damage we can to the infantry outside. The enemy siege tower has reached our walls. Let courage yeah, didn't do as much damage as I was hoped against those heavy footmen, but down the gates. Okay, here we go. We got Axman walking up those ladders. My light guys are going to have a bit of a bit of trouble there, I think. There's enemy general bodyguard over there. Our men are winning the battle. Okay, we so we're going to try and swarm the general with our cavalry over here. See how this plan goes. We break the enemy general. We might be able to survive this. Shoot those mercenaries while they're running behind. Going in for the general. I'm going in for the kill. Keep moving, keep moving. Completely swarm him. Actually, I'm going to get one cav unit to focus on these... Oh, on these infantry here. Come on. The enemy general's down to 15. General enemy general down. He is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. Excellent. So the enemy general is now dead. So let's focus our cavalry elsewhere. So those Viking mercenaries are gone. Archers, hold fire. So that we can charge into the back of these enemy infantry units without too much friendly fire. Mm. 
Nice. Oh, bail out. Bail out. Get out of there. Charge. Curses. Nice. Down out again. Kids. Right. General head this way with an extra cab unit. We're going to run down those routers. Alright, archers resume firing. Infantry are doing alright. Enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half okay. their men. So I'm focusing a lot on there. Damn, those men at arms are ripping my spearmen apart. It's to be expected, to be honest. Okay. Run down those hostiles. Enemy are battering down the gates. Okay, my cavalry have proven to be very effective so far. Charge into this infantry unit. Completely surround them. Cut them off, break them. Yes, there we go. Right, General, get out there. Got enemy reinforcements coming in here. Viking mercenaries. You just need to keep swarming the enemy infantry to make them rout. We go into the back of these guys here. Oh, one of my spears is just broken. The unit that's against the uh, enemy swordsman, I think. Right, broken, fighting to the death. Fantastic. The enemy are battering down nice. our gates. They're back to breaking down our gates. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to get this cavalry, all this cavalry, retrained at some point. There's a lot of infantry here in the middle. Right, swordsman here. Get those guys. All oh, my swordsmen go over there. My archers are having to take on those men at arms by themselves. Okay. So we need to hit both of these units at the exact same time. So these three will hit this one. These two will hit this one. Curses! The enemy are so battering down now. our gates. Okay, here we go. Oh, we broke them. Yeah, we broke them both. Lovely. So still got all this stuff to deal with. Favor. Gate is at 54%. Steadfast, victory will be ours. Yeah, we lost all our spearmen there, but they managed to take a quite a lot of the he of the footmen, which is surprising. My archers are get here again, cut down quite a bit though. So 
Footman routing over there. Cab left over here. My cab have done so much damage. Curses! The enemy are battering down our gates. Battering down the gates again, are they? Interesting, interesting. Swarm. Archers, you can hold fire now. Nice. Routed them. Right, cavalry pull away. Don't draw those other infantry in just Our yet. Are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, my general away to take care of these routing guys here, and then the rest of my cavalry. These three units are all going to pile in against this last unit here. We've obviously still got these footmen up on the wall, but they'll be the last one left. Cavalry, you're getting battered. Damn. Oh, one of my cab broke. Oh boy. That's going to be a struggle. <laughs> Guess we've dealt with all those routers. See if we can get a charge in this time. No charging. No. Okay, pull out. All cav pull out. Need them to follow me. But they're not. God, I nearly lost an entire longbow unit here. Right, let's get these two spears up this way so we can surround that sword unit. Get these swords guys over here. Let's take these archers out of there again. Just fire at them. Alright, let's speed this up a bit. The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain true and steadfast, oh, the victory will ha. be ours. Cool. So we just got these guys left to deal with. Alright, swordsman, mass at the gates. Along with all the spears. Do a full on charge outside into these uh, Viking Huskars. Just send everything out. And then my cav. Just wait for a minute. And now go. Oh, actually, General, chase those guys down. Oh, wow, they're actually cutting quite a lot of my cavalry down. Yay, they broke. Awesome. Run down the last of them. The enemy are utterly vanquished. Nice. This is a great victory worthy of only the mightiest of generals. Awesome. 554, uh, sorry, 544 for 1624. So we lost actually quite a few men. Um, a lot of the 
a lot of the casualties were two sergeant spearmen and then obviously my cavalry. But my cavalry did a lot of the damage there. Uh, I'm going to execute. You can see what that large army does over there. They're going to come and siege me. Fantastic. Okay. So that army, if it's made up of more heavy units, we may not be able to hold them off. If we have to take casualties like they that. They fear us, sire. They bring the fight to our walls. Rebel merchant? Excuse me? Damn. Oh, damn it. So fear the affectionate has passed childbearing age. Now that her childbearing years have passed, this noble daughter of the crown has now retired to a convent, continuing a tradition of royal involvement with the church. Though she did not expand the family, there is no more respect there's no more respectable way with which she could spend her twilight years. Crap. I tried to marry her to the king and it, the game wouldn't have it. I told her to go and get his hand and it wouldn't work. I don't understand what I did wrong. I clicked her, I right clicked on the king, or right clicked on the army, he told her to go marry him and it was like, oh there are no, mar no generals available to marry. Oh, okay. <sighs> Great. So we've just lost a princess that could have expanded the family. So. Oh, she's actually been taken out of the family tree as well. What kind of crap's that? That's just not fair. That's not very nice. She's still part of the family. Why would you take her out of the family tree? 47, 58, 38. Oh, God. So this entire line here on the left is just not married, no children. Roger the Wrathful is the only guy we have available that can do that. My God, I've really butchered the family tree, haven't I? I look forward to fighting you. Eh, there's some heavy units in there. There's a bit of light as well, so we might be okay. Someone removed, sir. 39% for the faction leader. 73% for the faction leader. Hello. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> French king has died rather unexpectedly. <laughs> Fantastic. 14% uh, now. We'll try and get this guy. Same again. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> the, guards of the, the guards of Paris are not very good right now. <laughs> They've just allowed a king and one of their cardinals to get killed. <laughs> or one of their priests. Oh dear. Oh, look at Oh, Jesus, look at that. Oh, artillery everywhere. Well, they've just blocked off our path to Paris. Uh, we'll head this way. Yes. We go no further today. Novgorodian Navy is is blockading one of our ports. I did have a chance to marry Sophia to someone, but it was a general who was sixty years old. Sire. So I didn't think he was going to be worth it. Perhaps I should have taken it. The gambles you take in Total War, eh? Okay, so there's nothing really that I can, I need to do or can do around this area. I'm kind of sort of sitting on here waiting to see if this army's going to attack us. they got a lot you of artillery again. Ordered. We have none. This is a throwaway army, but that's not the point. I'd actually like it to be able to achieve something. <laughs> Damn, okay. Uh, Away with you, infidel! This merchant. There's service. gold over here, which I remember from my hot seat. So we're gonna go that way. Journey awaits, sire.
More spears. <clears throat> we need more spears. Next turn we'll have Ballister Towers for Cairo. So it'll be a lot easier to defend. I don't think I have a diplomat, do I? Nope, I don't have a diplomat anymore. So let's recruit one of them. So that we can actually talk to people. Okay. Betrothed. Aviva Delaware. Who's she? Her. One of my. Uh, she's 41. Oh. Screw it. Might as well do it. Before I lose more people. Well, David Cecil is now in our family tree, which is good. Guild available, Merchant's Guild, another one. Yeah, sure. Assassinate mission, Tommaso Di Giovanni. Was this Assassin's Creed? <laughs> uh, if you've played Assassin's Creed, you'll understand that. Giovanni. Uh, okay, Winchester. I'll leave you where you are. Ren, you've upgraded, so you got plenty of stuff to build. Better roads, please. Galway. Market Gaza Very unhappy people. Let's get religion and Cairo. I shall do the same religion and we'll get one more urban militia unit. At your service. Thirty two two hundred and twenty four. Boom. Yes, I have done. What are these other ones by the way? Let's have a look. Once. At your service. Ah, come on, hundred and seventy two for sugar. 138 for cotton. Okay, so it might be worth me getting and that, that other merchant as well. Because why not? Get loads of monies. At your service. Journeying onward. On my way. Opening a new trade lane. Crusader States. Oh, they were already on it. At and now we've service. just kicked them off it. <laughs> Shall I deal Whoops. with the competition, sire? Okay, I don't like this army here. We seem to be marching in this direction. I think my garrison can defend. Also, they've released, they've uh, relieved their Siege of Bordeaux. So we'll just get another archer unit before I do anything there. Right, to the bridge. Yes. Yes. Yes, you come this on. way. Hopefully the throwaway army can sort of distract some of the people. 14% for the target. faction leader there. 31% for the faction leader. Name thy target, sire. You have a talk, need someone removed. Go take out this priest. How sneaky. Uh oh. Escape, escape. Oh, okay, he escaped. Phew. Name thy target. Who do you want dead? Let's go for the faction leader. Ooh, what's this? I don't think I've seen this video for a while. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Ah! Damn it! <laughs> escaped again. Ah, that's a shame. Sir, That's a shame. Your Majesty. Do you realize I had a merchant over here? Oh no, it's a diplomat. Oh, for goodness sake. Come on, Saf, get your head in the game. Uh, right, Antwerp, let's speak to you. You have nobody that I can marry my king to. This is not good. I need to find someone to marry my king to because he is currently unmarried. And 48 years old. Oh, boy. 
Who's the faction heir? This guy, Duke Rath, Duke Rath, eh, Ralph the Wrathful. <laughs> and he's 57, oh my god. My All my people are really old. I need to find people to marry. Without question, sire. Into my family Tomorrow's tree. Tomorrow's journey planned out, sire. Still sieging up there. Captain Knut. Okay, so they lost their general. I'm sure there was a general there last time. Okay. We're doing fine, we're doing fine. Alright. So, I'm going to make sure I save this one. There we go. So, guys, that's all the time I've got for this episode, unfortunately. So, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, um, we can continue getting we can get this war finished off with France over the next couple of episodes. So I've got two full stack armies over here that are hopefully gonna be able to do quite a lot of damage in this area. I've got my assassins doing all their work. They've been doing pretty well apart from those last two attempts. And we've got this army of the GNEs, the faction leader as well, heading in this direction. I don't know where he's going. I'm a little bit concerned he's gonna go for Clermont, but I think we should be okay in defending that. Um, but yes, we are doing alright. So, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode.